Hello. This is listening test. There are three parts to the test. For each part of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. Write your answers on the question paper. The recording will now be stopped. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear a recorded message about an arts festival. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. This is the arts festival box office. There is no one here to take your call, but do not hang up, as further information follows. The festival begins on the 12th of May and continues to the 28th. There are things happening in several parts of the town itself and outside it. At the Theatre Royal, there will be a series of concerts, starting with jazz singer Elaine Del Mar. On the twelfth of May, George Melly brings his own special kind of jazz and fun to the theatre. On the thirteenth of May, on Thursday the nineteenth of May, there is the opera Faust. For classical music fans, the Brodsky String Quartet appear on the twenty-third of May. There are also concerts at the Corn Exchange. For people who prefer dance music, we have the London All Stars Steel Band on Sunday, the fifteenth of May. On Thursday, the nineteenth of May, we welcome back the Viennese Gala Orchestra, who are regular performers at the festival. Finally, also at the Corn Exchange, there will be a series of jazz concerts each Friday at one o'clock. During these lunchtime concerts, a bar will be open for the sale of wine, and we are offering free soft drinks. Sandwiches will also be on sale. Light meals can be bought in the restaurant afterwards. There are various other musical performances in the cathedral, and poetry readings in one of the town's churches. The film society. Has arranged to show a film of Mozart's opera Don Giovanni at the theatre. Our program has full details. Ickworth House, just outside the town, is joining in the festival as usual. There is a guided walk around Ickworth Park on Sunday the fifteenth, which will last about two and a half hours. Also, on the nineteenth of May. We have a special concert of piano music, given by Oliver Davis, in the beautiful Ickworth Library. The price of tickets includes coffee and biscuits, and you are advised to book early, as this is always especially popular. For more information, send for our festival program, or visit the box office from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mondays to Fridays. Or 12 to 8 p.m. on Saturdays. Bookings can be made in person, cash, check, or credit card, by post, checks only, or by telephone, credit cards only. We also accept credit card bookings by fax, on 0284 7 0 2 7 0 6 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
Now listen again. This is the Arts Festival box office. There is no one here to take your call, but do not hang up as further information follows. The festival begins on the 12th of May and continues to the 28th. There are things happening in several parts of the town itself and outside it. At the Theatre Royal, there will be a series of concerts, starting with jazz singer Elaine Del Mar on the 12th of May. George Melly brings his own special kind of jazz and fun to the theatre on the 13th of May. On Thursday, the 19th of May, there is the opera Faust. For classical music fans, the Brodsky String Quartet appear on the 23rd of May. There are also concerts at the Corn Exchange. For people who prefer dance music, we have the London All Stars Steel Band on Sunday, the 15th of May. On Thursday, the 19th of May, we welcome back the Viennese Gala Orchestra, who are regular performers at the festival. Finally, also at the Corn Exchange, there will be a series of jazz concerts each Friday at one o'clock. During these lunchtime concerts, a bar will be open for the sale of wine, and we are offering free soft drinks. Sandwiches will also be on sale. Light meals can be bought in the restaurant afterwards. There are various other musical performances in the cathedral, and poetry readings in one of the town's churches. The Film Society has arranged to show a film of Mozart's opera Don Giovanni at the theatre. Our programme has full details. Ickworth House, just outside the town, is joining in the festival as usual. There is a guided walk around Ickworth Park on Sunday the 15th, which will last about two and a half hours. Also, on the 19th of May, we have a special concert of piano music given by Oliver Davis in the beautiful Ickworth Library. The price of tickets includes coffee and biscuits, and you are advised to book early, as this is always especially popular. For more information, send for our festival programme or visit the box office from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mondays to Fridays or 12 to 8 p.m. on Saturdays. Bookings can be made in person, cash, cheque or credit card, by post, cheques only, or by telephone, credit cards only. We also accept credit card bookings by fax on 0284 706 035. For these bookings, you must use our booking form. Thank you for calling. Now turn to part two. Look at sentences for this part. You will hear a woman called Julie and a man called Greg talking about an indoor wildlife centre they have visited. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, Put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hi, Julie. Wasn't the Indoor Wildlife Centre fantastic? I've never seen such an amazing building with its glass walls and all those different floors. Hi, Greg. Didn't you find it tiring, though, walking up so many stairs? 
and it was so hard to find your way round. That's not what I call good design. I didn't really think about that. It was an interesting start down in the basement, where it was so dark that I didn't see the sharks at first in the water behind the glass. They were quite scary. You must know how dangerous they are. Only if you're silly enough to swim with them. Anyway, what did you think of the temperature in the building? It has to be so high in there because of all those tropical trees growing. They need a lot of heat.、Mm, I suppose so. It felt really uncomfortable to me. I loved the banana trees, though. Those butterflies right at the top of the building were amazing, so huge and colourful. But I thought there would be a lot more insects to see. There were hardly any, really. Just as well. Who wants to see a load of insects? I don't find them especially interesting at the best of times. Did you manage to see any tree frogs? Oh, they're so cute. I spent ages hunting for them. They manage to hide by having skin that looks like part of a tree, and they lie still without moving. I couldn't find a single one. <laughs> yeah, they're not stupid, making sure they can't be seen by hungry birds. I really can't wait to go back because there was just too much to see. I'd like to read more about the wildlife before I think of going back there. Don't you think we'd enjoy it more if we knew more about the animals? I'm not so sure, really. Now listen again. Hi, Julie. Wasn't the indoor wildlife centre fantastic? I've never seen such an amazing building with its glass walls and all those different floors. Hi, Greg. Didn't you find it tiring though, walking up so many stairs? And it was so hard to find your way round. That's not what I call good design. I didn't really think about that. It was an interesting start down in the basement, where it was so dark that I didn't see the sharks at first in the water behind the glass. They were quite scary. You must know how dangerous they are. Only if you're silly enough to swim with them. Anyway, what did you think of the temperature in the building? It has to be so high in there because of all those tropical trees growing. They need a lot of heat.、Mm, I suppose so. It felt really uncomfortable to me. I loved the banana trees, though. Those butterflies right at the top of the building were amazing, so huge and colourful. But I thought there would be a lot more insects to see. There were hardly any, really. Just as well. Who wants to see a load of insects? I don't find them especially interesting at the best of times. Did you manage to see any tree frogs? Oh, they're so cute. I spent ages hunting for them. They manage to hide by having skin that looks like part of a tree, and they lie still without moving. I couldn't find a single one. <laughs> yeah, they're not stupid, making sure they can't be seen by hungry birds. I really can't wait to go back because there was just too much to see. I'd like to read more about the wildlife before I think of going back there. Don't you think we'd enjoy it more if we knew more about the animals?、Mm, I'm not so sure, really. That is the end of part two. Part three. You will hear a recreation officer at a holiday resort, telling the guests about their accommodation and the activities available. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Great. Well, hi everyone. My name's Jody, and I'm one of the four recreation officers here at Rainforest Lodge. My job is to make sure that you all have a great stay here with us and go away feeling relaxed and refreshed. As you can see, we're literally in the middle of nowhere at the lodge. There are no newspapers or TVs, and there's only one phone, and that's in the office. The lodge is a complete get away from it all experience, a place to unwind and appreciate the world without a lot of interruptions and distractions. From your cabin balcony, you'll find that you can't see anyone else, and the only noise you should hear is the birds. When the luggage comes, one of the guys will take it across to your cabin for you and make sure you know the way back here to the main center for dinner in the restaurant. Dinner will be served in about an hour or so. All the times of each day's activities are printed on the blue sheet you should have got in the information guides that were handed out on the coach. 
Each explorer trip has a different focus, so it doesn't matter how many you do or on what day, because there's always something new to discover in the rainforest. Tomorrow, I think we've still got places on the orchid and fungi tour. This is on foot and takes you to different parts of the rainforest. Or, if you prefer, there's the four-wheel drive tour to the waterfalls. Or the fishing trip, where I promise you we'll catch some lunch. <laughs> and last but not least, the famous crocodile cruise that leaves at 11 a.m. each day, just in time for the crocodile's lunch. <laughs> oh, plenty to choose from here at Rainforest Lodge. Or just sit on your balcony, relax and unwind, and enjoy the views. In the evenings, there is the spotlight tour, one of my favorites. The spotlight tour leaves at sundown and lets you catch a glimpse of some more of the rainforest wildlife as it comes out at dusk to feed. That's a great trip, and if you can, I'd really try to make sure you do it during your stay. You've chosen to visit the rainforest in March, which is just at the end of the wet season, so you'll soon notice how well the waterfalls are running and also how damp the ground is. Things can tend to get a bit slippery too, so if you didn't bring any walking boots. I'd advise you to hire some from the office. You'll also be much better off in long trousers rather than shorts because they will give your legs more protection. And socks are a good idea too. Now listen again. Great. Well, hi everyone. My name's Jody, and I'm one of the four recreation officers here at Rainforest Lodge. My job is to make sure that you all have a great stay here with us and go away feeling relaxed and refreshed. As you can see, we're literally in the middle of nowhere at the lodge. There are no newspapers or TVs, and there's only one phone, and that's in the office. The lodge is a complete get away from it all experience, a place to unwind and appreciate the world without a lot of interruptions and distractions. From your cabin balcony, you'll find that you can't see anyone else, and the only noise you should hear is the birds. When the luggage comes, one of the guys will take it across to your cabin for you and make sure you know the way back here to the main center for dinner in the restaurant. Dinner will be served in about an hour or so. All the times of each day's activities are printed on the blue sheet you should have got in the information guides that were handed out on the coach. Each explorer trip has a different focus. So it doesn't matter how many you do or on what day, because there's always something new to discover in the rainforest. Tomorrow, I think we've still got places on the orchid and fungi tour. This is on foot and takes you to different parts of the rainforest. Or, if you prefer, there's the four-wheel drive tour to the waterfalls. Or the fishing trip, where I promise you we'll catch some lunch. <laughs> And last but not least, the famous crocodile cruise that leaves at 11 a.m. each day, just in time for the crocodile's lunch. <laughs> oh, plenty to choose from here at Rainforest Lodge. Or just sit on your balcony, relax and unwind and enjoy the views. In the evenings, there is the spotlight tour, one of my favorites. The spotlight tour leaves at sundown and lets you catch a glimpse of some more of the rainforest wildlife as it comes out at dusk to feed. That's a great trip, and if you can, I'd really try to make sure you do it during your stay. You've chosen to visit the rainforest in March, which is just at the end of the wet season, so you'll soon notice how well the waterfalls are running and also how damp the ground is. Things can tend to get a bit slippery too, so if you didn't bring any walking boots. I'd advise you to hire some from the office. You'll also be much better off in long trousers rather than shorts because they will give your legs more protection. And socks are a good idea too. That is the end of the test.